The energy converted from sunlight by plants, which are then eaten by herbivores such as Triceratops, moves another step through the ecosystem when the plant eaters are consumed by carnivores, the meat eaters. Use your senses. Press the sniff button to see odors. Red indicates prey animals to hunt. Gray scent trails indicate a carcass that can be scavenged. Pay attention to your environment. Follow trails of footprints. Circling birds and pterosaurs could also indicate a possible meal. Hunting is a risky and dangerous business, and predators can easily be injured. Many T-Rex skeletons show signs of bones that have been broken and healed. A carnivore can avoid the danger of hunting animals like Triceratops by scavenging. Scavenging is consuming animals that have already died. Scavenging may also use less energy when compared to hunting and fighting prey. Try it yourself and see. Scavenging is not without its own risks. There may already be another predator claiming the meal. Are you wounded or breathing hard? How about your opponent? Remember that backing down is sometimes the correct move. In the wild, animals avoid combat when possible. Use your roar button to try and scare the other carnivore off. Almost every part of the carcass will be eaten by something. Nothing goes to waste. Some scientists believe that the massive jaws of Tyrannosaurus rex were used to crush up bone and get at the rich marrow within. In fact, coprolites, fossil dinosaur poop, thought to be from T-Rex, does contain crushed bits of Triceratops bone. Some scientists believe that T-Rex was a scavenger. Some believe it was a predator. Some believe it was both, arguing that most predators will take advantage of a free meal. Try out each behavior in the simulation and make up your own mind about which is best.